Hey everybody, Quail here once again to talk to you about another animal we can find here in the Sonoran Desert. And today I'm very excited because I get to talk to you about one of the most well-known animals we find here in the Sonoran Desert, the javelina. Javelina, despite what you think, are not actually pigs. This is a common misconception due to the fact that they are often referred to as New World pigs, and they have a lot of features that are similar to the er Old World pigs that you commonly think of when you think of pigs. Instead, javelina are what we call peccaries, more specifically collared peccaries. And the primary distinction between pigs and peccaries lies in the toes and stomach. Peccaries are actually missing some of the toes commonly found on pigs, and they also have three chambered stomachs. But that doesn't mean their stomachs are ruminating. No, it just makes their stomach system a little more complex than that of a pig's. Another cool thing is javelinas are actually very social animals. As such, they live in herds. And javelina herds are unique due to the fact that each herd has its own special, unique smell associated with it. And this is actually the result of the scent glands located on the hind of the javelina, right around that little flap area on the butt. And while in their herds, the javelina actually rub their scent glands together, creating a very unique identifying scent for the herd. So if a javelina were to get separated from the herd, they would be able to tell which herd was theirs based purely off of smell. Female javelina are actually able to give birth at uh, many times during the year, and their young are often considered called reds due to their red fur color. During the heat of the day, javelina will often find shady spots to wait out the heat of the day. They don't like to be active during the hotter times of the day because well, it'll dehydrate them a little faster, and obviously it's a little hard to find water here in the Sonoran Desert. Speaking of water, actually, javelina get most of their water from cacti. They're considered herbivores, and they like to eat things such as roots, plants, and cacti, and a lot of their water source comes from those plants that they eat. Specifically, javelina love prickly pear cactus. Now, you might think, well, how can a javelina eat a prickly pear cactus when it's got all those spines on it? Well, it actually comes in the form of their teeth and their tongue. Javelina have very rough tongues that allow them to scrape off those spines without a lot of injury. And another thing is you can see that they have these nice canines as well. And canines are often associated with prey animals, right? Or predator animals. But in the javelina's case, their canines are used for scraping off those prickly pear cacti spines. Well, that wraps up another video talking about a different animal here in the Sonoran Desert. I'm glad I get to share all this with you, and I will see you next time. Bye bye